Hi there, my name is Christina MacDonald and I'm the founder of the Dementia Help Facebook page and website and I uh, just wanted to say firstly thank you to everyone who's liked and supported the page and told their friends about it. Remember to go online and look at us at uh, www.dementiahelpuk.com you'll find lots of blogs there on different aspects of caring for a loved one with dementia. What I wanted to talk about today uh, was really just a couple of quick tips for anybody who's been, um, basically who's found out that a loved one has just been diagnosed with dementia. The first thing I would say is um, to start thinking and planning about the future. Talk to the person about the kind of care that they would like to receive in the future. Unfortunately, they do have a legal obligation to let to let the DVL, DVLA know about their diagnosis, so they must inform them. They may not need to stop driving straight away, but they do need to let them know. Um, last in power of attorney, there's two types. There's property and finance and health and welfare. I would recommend getting those organised as soon as possible. It is possible to get a power of attorney for someone who's got a diagnosis of dementia, but don't let them leave it too long. The solicitor in question needs to be convinced that they understand what they're signing um, and obviously as things progress and things change it may be more difficult for the solicitor to be comfortable with that. So definitely don't leave it too long and I would get both done, not just property and finance but health and welfare which is really about the kind of care and you know the kind of care that they would like to have in the future. Um, I would encourage you to talk to family members and friends and just make them aware of the diagnosis because you are going to be needing to rely on them for support. The one thing I would always say is that don't ever try to do everything on your own as a carer. That's a very good way to run yourself into the ground and you may find that help comes from unlikely places. Have a look at what support might be available in your area. There could be admiral, admiral nurses who are qualified to uh, you know, look after family members affected by a dementia diagnosis. Um, so go online and also there's some really good resources and information out there as well. The person with dementia is entitled to an assessment from the local council or the local authority so definitely would recommend looking into that. And I would encourage them to talk about how they're feeling and the kind of care that they might want to have in the future because a diagnosis for them may be a relief partially if they've been worried about what's been going on for some time but it's also likely to still be a shock. Um, so give them the opportunity to talk about what they would like to happen in the future and just about how they're feeling and remember although we tend to get obsessed with caring for the person and making sure that they've got everything they need and all the support that they need we also need to take time to listen to them and let them talk about their wishes and how they might feel. And obviously keep following the page and we'll be continuing to provide lots of help and advice for the future. So good luck and we'll talk to you soon.